everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be working in my art journal and we're going to do a double page spread this time. This is the Talons Creative uh, Watercolour Art Journal. I absolutely love it. It's a nice and small size and I sometimes find a big page a little bit overwhelming. So I really like working on a small project. So today I'm going to be using products from Rubber Dance and I'm going to be using this Mix Sentiment stamp set. Um, this has basically got loads of words in different fonts and all I'm going to do is use it to create a background. Now I've took out a few Versafine Claire inks and I thought I'd use the green but I decided to just keep it to the two colours. So I'm using um, Warm Breeze and Charming Pink and all I'm doing is just stamping the words randomly all over the page just so that we get a little background. Now a lot of this is going to be covered but I really just wanted something to kind of pop through the holes in this stencil. So I'm going to use Indigo Blue Slap It On today. Now, this product is so versatile. It, it's a really strong adhesive. It can be used um, to be mixed with different mediums and then run through a stencil. And it can also be used as a resist. So I really wanted to give it a go, um, running it through the stencil and then using it as a resist. So I was really curious to see how this would look. All I'm using is a palette knife just to spread the product onto the page and then we will have to leave it aside to dry. The great thing about Slap It On is when it dries you keep the texture and the imperfections of the spread that you've put through the um, stencil. So you're left when it's dried with this lovely clear, almost like heat embossed look but with the dimension and texture of a texture paste. And as you can see, when I run over it with Distress Oxide, I can then wipe the excess off the top of the areas where the Slap It On is. So you get that gorgeous stenciled print on the page, but also as a resist. So I really just wanted to try out this technique today. And um, I think it's really versatile. I think there's lots of different things that you could do with it. And I really love the fact that you've got um, the words popping through each of those circles. So they almost look a bit like magnifying glasses. Um, but yeah, the Distress Oxide inks that I'm using today, I'm using Dusty Concord and Black Soot and I'm using a combination of blending brushes, one was from Funky Fossil Designs and another is just a generic brush that I bought off Amazon. So I've just put a piece of copy paper underneath my page as I'm doing this because I don't want to get any ink on the pages underneath. And then all I'm using to wipe it off it with is a piece of damp kitchen towel. I'm then just going to add a little bit of Nouveau Shimmer Powder just to add a little bit more interest, add a few extra colour tones and just break up the background. So for my focal images today, I'm going to be using this stamp set from Rubber Dance called Doodle Flowers. And it's got lots of different flowers and leaves and some have got text or patterns in. And so they're really versatile, really quirky, something a little bit different. And they're going to make a great focal piece on the journal page today. So I'm just stamping them out. I'm using Versafine Claire um, Nocturne Black Ink today. And I'm just using scraps of white cardstock. I keep any white scraps that I've got in a drawer to the side of me. And then when I need some white cardstock for stamping images on, that's what I pull out. I'm going to colour them in with Prey markers today. These are the Windsor & Newton alcohol markers. But of course you could colour with whatever medium you prefer. I don't often use my alcohol markers. So this was a great opportunity to kind of dust them off and use them. Um, I find that I'm not very good with the alcohol markers. I definitely need to practice. Um, I much prefer watercolour in or colouring with coloured pencils. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd use my pro markers today. So I'm using a variety of techniques and I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit of shading, a little bit of blending. And I'm able then to just go over it with a white gel pen to add those spots back on. Now I've got this scrap of gel print and I really want to make a vase so what I'm doing is just cutting around the piece of paper and just trying to get a kind of vase shape. Now if you've got a stamp of course you could stamp that out and cut it out or if you've got a die that would cut a nice vase then you could equally do that but I really wanted to use the gel print because I really wanted some texture on the vase but I also realised that the pink is just not a good match for the colours that I've already got on my page. So all I do to just kind of tone that down is come in with a pro marker. This is the colour caramel, so it's kind of like a really light brown. And all I do is just colour all over it. And that still gets the texture of the gel print showing through, but it just tones down the colour. So now I'm just going to glue my flowers down flat to my page. And I'm using uh, Cosmic Shimmer Glue in this glue bottle. 
uh, the glue bottles I got from Craft Stash, so I was able to just decant some of the glue into it, and this just really helps with gluing finer details, but also so the bottle doesn't keep clogging. Um, I'm then just going to try and even up my vase a little bit, so all I do is kind of gently fold it over, trim it across so that it's a little bit more even, and then I'm able to just stick that down flat as well. For the sentiment today, I'm going to use the Flowers Bloom uh, sentiment from the stamp set. And these are two separate stamps, but I've just added them to one acrylic block. I'm just going to stamp them out and then trim them down with my scissors just so that they've got a nice uh, small border around them. Once they're done, I'm able to just glue them down flat onto my page, again using the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. Now, I'd been playing around with placement of the extra flowers that I'd already got cut and coloured. And I decided I'm just going to add this one more flower just to the left hand side of the sentiment just to kind of finish off that double page spread. And now this is kind of like the finishing touches step of the journal page. So first of all, I decide I'm going to add the black heart stamp directly in the centre of the vase. And I think that just adds a really nice finishing touch to that. I've then got some handmade washi tape uh, in my stash. So I'm just going to use some of that just to kind of, again, add a little bit of extra interest to the page and break it up a little bit and just add in a little bit more of the pink tones. And the great thing about adding washi is that if you're not happy with your placement, you can just peel it back up and start again. So I, I really like just adding a little bit of washi tape to my page. Next, I'm going to add some white splatters. This is the Pearly Winks Colour Pop. It's just a white acrylic paint in a spray bottle. And I'm just kind of using the spray bit to just add some splatters across the page. Next, I'm going to come in with a Posca pen. This is a black Posca pen. And I'm just going to, going to go around the outline of um, the vase and the sentiment. And then just add a little bit of detail to the vase just to kind of um, just add a few finishing touches, really. I kind of decide that the page needs a border. I'm not really happy that the black soot is dark enough to kind of bring that border in. I really want to draw your eye into the center of the page. So... I decide I'm going to add like the same um, ripple border to the edge of the page as I've given to the vase. But then I decide that I actually think it needs filling in completely black. So I then go back around the page with the Posca pen and just add that in. Now, the great thing about Posca pens is because they're acrylic paint pens, um, they do go over the slap it on. I think if you were using a watercolour, it wouldn't stay on the slap it on here because uh, obviously it's a shiny surface, but the Posca pen dried absolutely fine on the page and it stayed put. So I think that just really kind of helped to finish off the page. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching me put this layout together. Uh, thank you so much for watching and leaving comments on my channel. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this page, um, if you've got any rubber dance stamps or if you like journaling. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll add some close-up photos at the end and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.